Hi, I'm Amy Moore, Social Networks and Lifestyle Integration Program Coordinator here at Florida State College at Jacksonville. Here at the college, we use social media in a lot of different ways, actually. Um, I guess to begin with, we use things like Twitter and Facebook and blogging to alert our students about new events that are going on, um, to tell them about new program offerings, to let them know of financial aid deadlines or registration dates, um, and to alert our, our students and our staff and faculty about system outages so that they have a heads up when they're not going to be able to log into Blackboard or one of our other systems. And, and that's a really helpful tool so that people aren't <laughs> flooding IT with phone calls saying, why can't I get on? Um, we also have a small number of dedicated social media users throughout the college who live blog or who tweet events that we have at the college. For example, at our last convocation, we had a lot of people who were posting things online throughout the event. And it was really just great for seeing multiple perspectives on what was happening. We were all viewing the same thing, but we all came up with our own perspectives on, on that event. So I think that's one really great use of social media within an institution, within higher education. Our faculty also use social media to connect with their students and uh, to even connect with their colleagues and share professional development sort of links and information that they've found. So one example is an instructor that we have here at the college who teaches literature um, and who uses Second Life to immerse her students in an environment where they can take abstract concepts from a book that they're studying and they can turn them into concrete examples. So they actually build the world of the book. Maybe they build a, a town that appears in the story or, or a house. Um, she's had some great success with her students, even those who were completely unfamiliar with the technology when they started. Another of our brilliant instructors uses a lot of social media to connect with his students and with the community in general. He's very active in the community in a lot of different ways, but um, he runs our bachelor's degree program in supervising and management at our Kent campus. He has a Facebook group dedicated to that program with lots of members who can interact with each other. They can interact with, now these are students, faculty, and community members. They can interact with each other in ways that wouldn't necessarily be possible otherwise. So there's a lot of activity on that wall. He posts uh, pictures and so forth, images from events that they've had, and, uh, and just general conversations and discussion topics. He also has blogs dedicated to a couple of the courses that he teaches, and he encourages his students to interact with him via social media as well. So those are just a few of the ways that we use social media here at the college. I hope that if anyone would like to learn more about our institution, they'll visit our website at fscj.edu, visit my department's website at distancelearning.org, uh, and follow us on Twitter at fscjopen. Bye.